tough enemy. So this is a floor that I'll have to be exploring a little bit more thoroughly, and again, this battle's not going to be worth it for me to fight, I don't think. I'm just going to try to get out of here. I don't think the spiders can poison in um, vanilla, but looks like they have the ability to stun in this one. I'll try to work as thoroughly as I can, but these dungeons are always difficult. Alright, let's see if I can get that crit. Nope. No crit on the green ogre. We got our hyena, though. And totally missed. Missed all three hits in that case. Which is unfortunate. This round could be, uh, could be it if I get good, good hits on everybody. And he got hit on all three that time. And the crit. If we get a crit here, that could do it. Nope. Not quite. With these dungeons, it's, it's really hard to explore them if you're not already familiar with what the layouts look like. Because uh, the screen resolution doesn't show a whole lot of the, of the dungeon room. Yo, dehumanization! Thank you for popping in. Curious how far we are from our level up. 3798. He's the closest. He's the farthest along, I should say. We're in the marsh cave dehumanization, and the uh, the dungeon tiles have been relaid out in this hack. So it's not the uh, it's not the marsh cave that we know and love. It's something else. So this room is totally different. And I can't remember if these guys are the ones that have the insane physical defense. Nope, they're not. Um, nope, they're not. Okay, so that's a Mystic Key Door. I think the item that I get here is the Ruby. Because they the crown is in a different spot in this hack. I did read that. You're not coming down here to grab the crown. I think you're getting the Ruby. Or maybe it's the loot that's down here. Because they've reordered things a little bit. The crown you pick up after you fight Carrie in the volcano. Oh, okay, so that's the box I already have. So this is a repeating... This is a repeating room. Okay. So have I gone over here yet? No. Alright, so this is a, a looping dungeon floor. Alright, I've got it. And I thought I saw some stairs there before. Actually, let's... Let's have the fighters go for the bones. They have a little bit more in the way of health. And I'm not sure if the red mages can one-shot the crawls. Let's find out. Okay, that one can't without a critical. The fighters definitely can, the red mages not so much. This is actually a little bit threatening with both of my fighters stunned as they are. The um, skeletons can really do a lot of damage if they crit you. So let's see if we can just get one of the bones this round. It's gonna take, yeah, more than just one fighter attack. Two red mage attacks usually will take out a bone at the level, at my current level. Alright, so this battle's gonna be okay. I can see heal potions are going to be really a uh, commodity for me. I'm glad I I'm glad I really stocked up. Those bones can really hit hard, and if you uh, if you get paralyzed like that, battles can really drag on. It comes kind of a fight of attrition. Some of those battles if you're dealing with a lot of paralysis. Alright, so again, this is not too bad a battle. I'm gonna stop trying to get crits on the Green Ogres. Just things never work out the way I want to. Never can line up the critical hits on those Ogres. So it's actually good that I did this, because this should take both of those out. Oh, 
didn't get his extra attack, so... Didn't happen. We'll go with this. And there's another paralysis attack. You can see a lot more enemies have the uh, status attack tied to the paralysis status. But my, I'm high enough level that uh, I can explore the dungeon without really incurring much risk. Thankfully. We still have... whoops. Oh, that's a, that's a spiked square. I didn't mean to step out of the spiked square. Here we go again, but it's okay, I can use every little bit of experience that I can in this, in this hack. I have a feeling I'm, gonna, I'm going to be finishing this game at a very, very high level. Which is okay. Yeah, let's see if the fighter can one-shot the hyena, assuming he doesn't get paralyzed. Not quite, so this will go one more round. Alright, now I need to not take a step away from this chest. But the 300 experience is going to be helpful. Alright, there's the Falchion. Um, let me see what he's at. 3768. And now it's 3675. Okay, so I'm actually... He gets a little more on the accuracy, but it's not enough to push him up another hit. So I'm going to go for back to the longsword. So you, you've seen the uh, a solo solo run dehumanization. Um, was it of this of this hack or was it uh, the NES version release? So this this hack, uh, watching a solo version would be a really really um, that tough, tough undertaking <laughs> to do this version solo. The NES version is certainly no pin picnic solo, but uh, this would be a real challenge to do with just one character. It was the NES version, yeah. The NES version would be a little bit more doable, although still not easy, uh, and it would be fun to watch. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of strategy that you'd have to work out, and then there's also a, you have to rely on a lot of luck. You have to rely on not getting killed by instant death stuff. All right, there's another Mystic Key door. So hopefully um, we're getting close to the key item that I need, the loot or whatever, whatever is now down here and guarded by the sorcerers and, and wizards. So I'm getting an idea for the layout of this last room. Ooh, a sleep attack. See, yeah, 102, these guys really can hit hard, these mucks. So getting the ambush on them was bad timing. I'm just going to try to get out of this one. I hope we can do so quickly. Thank you. And not just like that, I'm back to uh, the heal potions. Because in the NES version, if you're doing a solo run, you really level up quickly because you're not sharing experience with the party. If, you, if you're using a class that gets really high-powered at level up... I'm going to use my dash here because this is uh, an easy floor to, to get lost on. So I need to find either the stairs or the key item quickly here. But I think that I think he has this floor coded a bit like the the floor on the uh, the sea shrine on on level one of the of the sea shrine, the top level of that. Where there's the um, that long passageway that leads to the uh, slab. I think, and it also there, this is a looping room in the Sky Palace. There's that looping floor. I think that's the fourth floor, where you go up left, up left, or down right, down right. And if you don't do those, then you're just totally lost. So I think that's how he has this coded. I shouldn't say he. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she. I don't know who ZZ is. Zonk, Zonk Miles, I think, is how you say the name. All right, so there's one end of this room. And is this one I've gotten before? No, it's not. 
Okay. So let's see if I can get to whether there's stairs or a guarded treasure. Alright, I can deal with more spiders and fewer mucks. That's fine. But if it was... If it was Switch, if there was five mucks and two spiders, this would be a lot more dangerous battle. It's still not really worth it for me to fight because spiders are kind of under my level. And the mucks are just a little bit too much of a threat to do a, a hundred plus damage critical. There's another iron armor. Okay, so there's the stairs I came down on. Those are the stairs that I came through to enter the dungeon. Or enter this room, I should say, not enter the dungeon. Because I started by going to the left there. And I can see the mystic key doors down here in the bottom of this room. I'm trying to remember all this for later, so I'm vocalizing it so I don't forget. Wow, six hits from the crawl. That's kind of a scary attack. A few of those go critical can really ruin your day. Alright, silver hammer. So I already have iron armor for those guys who who need it. Yeah, and I don't really have a lot of room for additional equipment, as is always the case with uh, Final Fantasy 1. You're always out of room for stuff, especially armor. Alright, so that's everything I can find on this floor. A single ooze. Yeah, there's a rough attack. I was hoping that one of my fighters could go first and knock him out. Dead is going to be a few more heal potions, is what that's going to mean. So I'm starting to wonder if I'm if I need to head back up to the previous floor and explore that. Yeah, because I've I've been to all these already. And Arachnids, I don't know if they've had their hit points buffed up. Yes, they have. They have 50 in the NES version, the Arachnids. Um, so having that one eat a 61 and survive, and a 51. So they've had their hit points significantly boosted from the NES version. Yeah, so it took a 51, a 61, and a 71 without dying. Normally they just have 50 again. So that's actually a pretty, pretty rewarding battle there. I'm going to start using my dash a little bit now. Okay, so this is the floor above. I bet there's another spike square here. Yes, there is. And it's got the same... Ooh, ooh. This one has a uh, wizard ogre in addition to the... Just the green ogre hyena combo. Let's see if I can clear out the front two enemies there. Yeah, darkness status is going to be rough for my fighters, because it actually works in this hack, unlike in the NES version, where darkness is a uh, very underpowered status to be stuck with. It doesn't work, or it doesn't work properly. It doesn't really have uh, very much practical effect in the game. Darkness in the NES version. Now, in this one, it does. So when they hit you, hit your physical characters with darkness status, it's, uh, for a much more devastating effect. Should be a nice rewarding battle, though, in terms of golden experience. Yeah, 426, so I should be approaching another level up, which is good, because, again, I'll need every level I can, and also looks like I'll need every heal potion I can. And this is another nasty battle. Because those mucks can really do... Alright, 33, or is that 38? Muck, 46, yeah. They're doing as much damage as the heal potion. Cures in, uh, you know, in one attack, so they really... are a drain on your resources. Which is, of course, what uh, enemy random enemies are supposed to do in, in Japanese RPGs. How they were designed is to be a drain on your resources. So I need to explore the rest of this floor. I didn't actually get very much of this floor explored. I found those stairs, and I got kind of uh, forced, rerouted to those steps. 
uh, in the way I explored it, so I didn't explore the center of this room, so it's possible that the key item might be on this floor, or maybe there's another set of stairs. I'm not sure again, because the, the dungeon tiles have been reworked. So I'm exploring this as if for the first time. Except I'm a much higher level than I would have been as a kid playing the real NES Marsh Cave for the first time. And getting just walloped in the NES Marsh Cave. Yeah, because this is a long path that leads down here. So I'm guessing that that's where I'm going to need to go. Well, not not even guessing. Let's see if I can get all of these in one, one round. Alright, mute status, better than dark. He should still be able to take one out. Okay, good. Mute status again is fine on those fighters, and really on my red mages, who haven't used any spell charges yet. And their magic is quite powerful in this. The magic has been boosted. Yeah, I don't like that they don't give you much in the way of experience. Alright, so... There's just there's more on this floor to see and do, so I will do that, and hopefully I run into the key item that I need so that I can come back just with the mystic key. I don't really want to have to go back and poke around on that bottom floor again. But if I do have to, that's okay. So I think I'm going to go into the middle room here, the middle door of this one. I came out the left and got the treasure on the left side, but I did not yet get the treasure in the middle of the room. Actually, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the room with the wizards and sorcerers. If so, I'm going to leave it and explore the rest of this floor first because I would like to keep my experience as even as I can. So if this has... Okay, it doesn't have any indication that this is the wizard and sorcerer floor. Iron Gauntlet might be an, an upgrade for my characters. Yeah, alright, good. I can equip that on him. Uh, yeah, let's go all on the bone. Try to get the bone as quickly as we can. Good, those bones really hit hard if they get a chance to hit. How close is my... him? Okay, 236. So he's almost at a level up, thank goodness. Alright, 1,000 gold. Alright, there might be another set of stairs down here. I'm hoping there is. Nope, there's not. Try to get the bones in this battle first. It looks like I will ha will have to head back down there, but I think I actually might exit this dungeon and save. Having picked up all this treasure, I might exit the marsh cave here, use a tent, and uh, then bop back in. I'm going to have to be crawling around a lot more. I'd rather not have to check all the treasure chests. Again. And that'll also preserve the level up that I'll have from the mage here soon. We should have a level up momentarily, and I'm actually very close to the exit, so getting out of the dungeon, saving up, and popping back down will not be much worry. I'll go ahead and dash here for now. Alright, let's take out the crawl. Maybe I can get the, the crits for my fighters finally when I want them. Oh, a critical hit, but not quite enough damage. Let's see if he can do it. There we go. Once you see it, that may have been very close to exactly what he needed to kill that green ogre. I'm not sure what their hit point total is in this hack, but that may have been very close to exactly the hit point. Alright, yeah, 17, there we go. Now the other ones are a thousand or two behind my that red mage there, so they won't get their level up for a little bit yet. 
Alright, this could be a kind of irritating battle. I was hoping not to get paralyzed with too many characters. Look at that, 253 from him. Nice. Let's see, they're doing sleep. Uh, they probably have both sleep and stun, or, or one or the other with those. This is a strange layout here. I'm gonna get a screenshot of that, actually. You don't usually see a layout like that. Of course, that's not how it started, but you don't usually see the enemies arranged in that way. And this battle will, again, be kind of below my level. But because there were so many, there were seven, seven enemies. I'll fight it. As you can see, the, the experience award is not, uh, not really appropriate to where I am. That's, a, that's kind of a result of me leveling up as high as I have. Alright, let's see if I can get back down quickly to where I was. Well, right away we're poisoned. So I need to poke around more on that B3 level, on that, that repeating, repeating dungeon floor. I must have just missed whatever I needed to see. That's okay. So I preserved the level up from my... Yeah, okay, there's another level up. Yeah, so I'm glad I preserved that progress in case something weird does happen. While I'm down here... And I was already pretty close... ...to the exit, so it should just be a minute. Hello, Shahali. I don't know if I'm brave to play through this game. I might just be stupid. But uh, we all know there's a very fine line between brave and stupid. So who knows? Maybe I'm brave. Maybe I'm silly. But I did, Shahali, level up quite a bit, so the, the battles in this, in this uh, dungeon set have not really been very threatening to me. So that's probably how I'm going to have to play most of this hack, is do a lot of off-stream grinding to get my characters up to where they can handle a lot of battles like this, because, uh, I don't know if you've been watching a little bit, but the layout of the Marsh Cave here has been changed, so I no longer know how to get through it uh, without poking around a lot, which, as you know, in the Marsh Cave and in a lot of dungeons, this game is really, really dangerous to be kind of blindly looking around for something. So if I'm going to have to do that in every dungeon, or in many dungeons, uh, I will need to be quite over-leveled. Because already in this one, I've, I've poked around and backtracked, and uh, now I'm on my way back down to uh, level 3, because it's set up as kind of a maze floor. So hopefully uh, I can get through it this time. <laughs> Yeah, Shahali, I, I, it's interesting that, that, that a few of us looked into more of it after, after I, I started, and I, I, of course, did a lot more reading about it myself. And it does look quite grindy and, and luck-dependent. Um, but I, I'm very curious to see how some of the new things work. That's really what I'm mostly interested in, is, is seeing a lot of the new equipment that has been programmed into it, uh, a lot of the magical items that you can use to cast different things, and the new spells, and, and just the new things. I'm curious to see how those work. And, uh, I ho just hope to have a good time with it. And I don't really so much mind doing off-stream grinding when it's on an emulator, and I can do it on fast-forward, and I can knock off ten levels while I'm watching something else on Netflix. Recently, it's been watching Trailer Park Boys since that, uh, they put up the new season last week, or, or not too long ago, they put up the new Trailer Park Boys on Netflix. So that's got me into watching the old ones while I'm doing off-street grinding. And I've also recently been doing more work into the Blue Marlin. Since, uh, 
the Mexican runner played it on his uh, NES Mania project. And while I was in that chat, I met another Blue Marlin enthusiast, another Blue Marlin speedrunner, who has a really great Blue Marlin speedrun time. That he, he crushed my PB for the speedrun, and I didn't even know he was out there. So uh, it was nice that uh, I connected with him, and so I've been doing some work examining the memory of the Blue Marlin again, in addition to my Final Fantasy work, so it's kind of taken some of my attention away from Final Fantasy. I was trying to explain some of the more archaic uh, systems in the Blue Marlin, trying to find out just how experience is calculated and all that, so I did a couple hours of work on that, and I updated the uh, Blue Marlin FAQ on Game Facts just this morning with some new stuff that we found. There's still plenty of work to do, especially because I'm a hack at uh, memory finding. <laughs> yeah, I need to get back into uh, Blue Marlin speedrunning because uh, my my PB is no longer the best the best time. And now that there's actually some competition, we probably could could call it a real world record. So between Final Fantasy streams, if I ever finish this one on stream, I, I do want to go back to doing some uh, Blue Marlin any percent runs, which I know are, are not as exciting to watch. Maybe as a Final Fantasy variant. So in Final Fantasy 2, you can uh, get around a lot of the the nerfy game overs. Is that what you mean by that? A lot of the cheap cheap deaths. All right, now must be in the middle of this room. Because I've looked at the edges of this room pretty carefully. And these these battles are uh, a lot more dangerous than the ones on the floors above, just like in the real Marsh Cave. Those bones can really hit hard, so I try to... at least I get rid of... Alright, I got rid of both of them. Okay. So there's always something, but it, you might not have the tools to use it at, at any given time. Alright, there's my last level up to 17. I think that's the last character. Alright, see a lot of these are empty because I was looking through this room earlier. Ah, another one of these battles. See, these are pretty... These are pretty rough battles. If I don't get... Alright, good. If I don't get the bones taken care of quickly, they can really do a lot of damage. The crawls don't seem to be able to get through my absorb rate. Which is nice. Uh, this should take care of everybody if they all get hits off like they should. Nope. He fell a little bit short. So did he. At least we got our bones. Yeah, those crawls, I don't know what is up with their uh, attack value. They're getting a huge uh, number of hits in. Alright, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to be running low on heals here pretty soon. So I need to find these wizards and sorcerers and whatever that, whatever else is waiting for me in here. All right, so there's the center. Okay, here we go. So this is the room I would have been looking for before. But I couldn't... I was in this room and looking around, but I was on the edges in this repeating room. So here's going to be the treasure that I need. So let's heal up here. Okay, so there's... There's just a couple of formations that can be instant game overs. I suppose you mean besides the uh, that first one where you get your stuff handed to you by those uh, knights in the very very opening cinematic battle of the game, <laughs> which a lot of people think is very fitting. Ooh, so we get a 
an unrunnable battle <laughs> just before the wizards and the sorcerer sorcerers. So we get to do deal with this. But I have access to to lightning two and ice two, so I do have spells that can take care of everything here. So I've been saving all my spell charges, so I, I should be able to just go all out on these wizards and sorcerers and whatever they are. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can farm a highly dangerous formation here. I could farm these wizards if I wanted to. You can farm the eye, which some people do when they're later in the game in Final Fantasy, uh, the NES release, they'll farm the eye. Alright, let's see what we get here. Alright, so we got our wizard and sorcerer combo. Um, I don't know, I would assume that they've been buffed. So let's go Ice 2 from you and Lit 2 from you. If they're... Let's see. Ooh. All trance for everybody. That's scary. Alright, is this one going to do a little bit better? Yeah. Definitely much better. So you can see their abilities and resistances and their hit points have even been altered, but glad we got that attack off, so we have one less at least to deal with. Um, let's get this out of here again. Alright, this lit two. This might get the two wizards. Alright, not quite. Curse. Alright, so... Curse is actually better than that sorcerer attacking with his instant death stuff. Oops, no, I want you to fight him. And I want another lit two. Let's see if I can get out of here without losing anybody. Alright, wizard down. Sorcerer almost down. Oh, it missed his attack on the sorcerer. Oh, there's an instant death attack on my front character. There is an instant death touch attack. Alright, finally. That was scary. But we'll take that experience and that gold. Alright, there's the loot. So that's what I get as a reward in this in this dungeon. Okay. Let me reroute things here. Get things in the proper order. I'm going to be carrying a dead character out all the way. Uh, oh, and he's poisoned. That's okay. Oops. Alright, so now it's just going to be getting out of the dungeon, and I have plenty of spells. Okay. So you can get uh, you can get the Osmo spell. Yeah, that that was a that was a rough battle. So you can get a drop there. Oh, and this is a spike square. So you have a spike square immediately before the wizards. Let me see. How did I set that up again? Yeah. So Shahali, it's interesting the way they did that because the you need the crown to get into the capsule of ordeals. So by moving the you get the crown after you fight Terry in the volcano. So by doing that, they they prevent you from going into the castle of ordeals before you're supposed to kind of. So normally in an NES version run through, you would go through the castle of ordeals before the volcano to get the great treasure that's in there, but by moving the crown to the end of the volcano, you can't get through the castle of ordeals early. That's interesting that they, the the hacker here took advantage of that uh, little quirk. Oh, we've got got some statuses flying. I should have used a spell probably. I'm still just one tile away from the the wizards. Nobody's cured of their paralysis. There we go. See if we can get an attack off here now. There we go, that'll do it. 
Looks like I'm going to be just running out of heal potions as I exit this dungeon. And I spent more time down here than I needed to because I was... I didn't see this room when I was supposed to see this room. That's okay, I'll do my treasure collecting 